Hey folks, this is Keith Grimmins with Compact Equipment Magazine. I hope everybody out there is staying healthy, safe, and productive. Uh, this is a new chapter in our video series called Compact Equipment Conversations. Uh, a lot of us are still working from home, but we're finding ways to connect uh, and talk about all the cool new machines and technologies coming out uh, in the compact equipment realm. Uh, my guests today are from Trimble, and we have two of them, uh, Cameron Clark and John Boss. Uh, gentlemen, thank you for taking the opportunity to talk to us. Uh, maybe you can introduce yourselves and give us your titles. Yeah, hi, Keith. Uh, very glad to be here. Um, as mentioned, my name is Cameron Clark, and I'm the Earth Moving Business Area Manager for the Civil Construction Field Division for Trimble. And I've relocated, just relocated over here from Christchurch, New Zealand to Colorado. Yeah, Keith, thanks so much for hosting the conversation today. Uh, as you said, my name is John Boss, um, and I'm Trimble's product manager that looks after our compact machine solutions, both the premium product line and the entry level product line. Awesome. Thank you, gentlemen. Um, Trimble, of course, is a leading uh, technology brand in the construction industry, making hardware and software for a variety of contractors and sectors. I actually got to hang out with the Trimble crew at Con Expo Con Ag uh, about a month and a half ago on uh, Las Vegas. And the big news there was Earthworks 2.0, uh, which is a suite of uh, machine control technologies and modules that work on everything from compact track loaders all the way up to the big tractor dozers. Um, 2.0 is just chock full of cool new stuff, everything from augmented reality on excavators, uh, horizontal steering on dozers, uh, massless grade control configuration, so much stuff actually, um, that we're only really gonna delve into the compact equipment portions. Um, on top of all this coolness, uh, Trimble also released a cool new app uh, called Earthworks Assistant, which we'll get into in a little bit. But gentlemen, maybe we could just start off by discussing Earthworks in sort of a big perspective way. Uh, what is Earthworks at, uh, from a 30,000 foot uh, point of view and um, why is 2.0 so important, especially in uh, the compact equipment realm? Yeah, sure, Keith. Um... Earthworks is Trimble's premium um, platform for machine control, and the key thing there really is the platform piece. Um, and it's a result of a complete overhaul of our previous grey control systems, and it's designed to be extensible. So that enables us to do a bunch of really cool things and valuable things that were really not possible before. Um, and one of those things we'll talk about um, shortly with the mixed reality. Um, but included in this overhaul, um, we heavily invested in user experience and collaborated from operators and construction personnel from all around the world uh, for different skill levels to really enable us to create a world-class and easy to use product. Uh, Trimble Earthworks offers various solutions from the entry level right through to the premium, and it's designed to be able to grow as well as your needs change. Um, and so, yeah, as I mentioned before, we've got solutions for the compact users, right through to the local and, and larger contractors. And we're very proud of um, the value it brings to construction. Um, and part of that, you can see some of the stuff with um, version two um, and how important it is to, is to understand the contractor's needs and provide value to really help and solve problems for them. Awesome. Uh, Earthworks 2.0 has a ton of dimensions, like I just mentioned, uh, but one of the big ones for us is its focus on compact grading attachments and then all the new options that you can get on that. Um, we've seen compact track loaders specifically grow in popularity, popularity for uh, grade control applications and dirt work. Um, and now they're going to have all these cool new options, options with Earthworks 2.0. Uh, maybe you guys can go over uh, what's cool and new on the small side and, and uh, why is there a big focus these days on it? Yeah, so, so Keith, this is something that's brand new for the 2.0 release. Um, up to this point, we had been supporting the core, or what we call the core machine types, uh, which full-size dozer, excavator, and motor grader. But with a 2.0 release, we've actually expanded into these, uh, what we refer to as compact grading attachments. Um, and by themselves, these compact grading attachments are really highly useful um, implements that customers are using more and more as we see these folks trying to blur the line between what's possible with a large compact track loader and a small dozer. Um, and that's why we're ultimately investing in this space so that um, you can not only just use these attachments manually, but when you put a full earthwork system on them, uh, you get fully automatic control of that blade now. So it not only removes the uh, you know, need for guesswork in this area, but it also eliminates operator fatigue. Um, and what we always love to preach about the system too is that um, our customers do see a relatively quick return on investment with these systems when you know that that final pass is right um, and you're not second guessing the work you just did. Um, so I think with the, with the uptick and the interest around these attachments too, as I said, I think a lot of it is a result of 
um, some folks seeing the uh, benefits uh, of the larger compact track loader platform and the flexibility that that offers versus a lot of maybe more full-size dozer uh, configurations or small dozer configurations um, where you more or less have the one application to, to push and grade dirt, whereas with the compact track loaders, it offers you a ton of flexibility. So uh, when we do put that earthwork system on that grading attachment coupled with a compact track loader, you have a pretty powerful grading platform right there. Uh, very cool. I'm uh, moving from track loaders and, and big dozer tractors. Maybe we can talk about excavators and uh, uh, augmented reality for excavators sounds super cool. Uh, maybe we can get into exactly what that is. How does it work? And uh, what kind of uh, excavators can this go on? How small of an excavator can this go on? Yeah, Keith. Uh, yeah, it's very cool. And we're very uh, super excited to be able to offer mixed reality um, with excavators with Earthworks version 2.0. And it starts to really complement what we're doing in off machine with on machine. Um, what we can do now in Earthworks uh, with the mixed reality support is the starting to be able to superimpose the model and the design through the camera to really be able to see that intersection between the digital world and the physical world. And that really gives us the ability to um, help people understand and visualize what, what they've got to do. Um, it's not just a, a plan and a model that they've got to try and figure out how it fits on the site. You can actually see it now. And as you can operate and rotate around, you can see how the design um, fits on the design and, and on, sorry, on the job and what you've got to do. So it gives huge value for understanding um, what, what to do and what the job at hand is. In Expo recently, we had it on a little one ton electric excavator uh, and it worked quite well. So no, no size limit. Um, so very perfect and suitable for, for the smaller guys. I did see the Con Expo, yes, and it was very impressive, very cool. Um, there's just so many tools with Earthworks, and I think uh, one of the most neat ones, or one of the neater ones, is uh, the new app that you guys are coming out with. Uh, Earthworks, this is designed to take the guesswork out of dirt work, and now there's even an Earthworks assistant. Maybe we could go over um, how this helps speed up learning on the platform, how does it work? Uh, maybe you can give us a brief overview. Yeah, so this is another tool, Keith, that we're extremely excited about within the product group, uh, not only because when we look at the technology that we produce, of course, we're gonna look to uh, produce the latest and greatest features for our operators and customers to be able to use in the field. But on top of that, we're also looking at how can we make the technology even easier to use for a new user or a user that just wants to learn more about the capabilities of the platform. So the new Earthworks Assistant application is a standalone application uh, you can download from the Google Play Store or it can be sideloaded onto one of our Trimble displays. And what this does is it puts a lot of our documentation and instructional videos right at the fingertips of the operator or anyone else that wants to learn how to use the uh, Earthworks systems. So prior to this, a lot of what you'd experience maybe is having to go online to find a lot of this material, just like a lot of other uh, techno technologies out there today. Um, but today what this Earthworks Assistant application allows you to do is right when you're in the cab of that machine, if you're right in the middle of a job, and you have a specific question on a piece of feature or functionality of the Earthworks system, you can pop open that Earthworks Assistant app and learn more about it in detail right there in the moment um, using that brand new application. So it's not only increasing the amount of features and functionality we, we offer in the core platform, but a huge focus for us is also making the technology much, much easier to use with tools like that. Uh, great input, John. Thank you. Uh, Earthworks 2.0 um, is very sounds like a very cool um, module with all these cool services. But machine automation in general sounds, I think, a lot expensive to a lot of our contractors. We work with a lot of small owner operators um, who are just starting to dabble in grade control uh, with some of these smaller machines. I mean, we can talk about Earthwork Go, which is uh, mm -hmm. maybe a, a better entry point for some of the our readership. Absolutely, Keith. Yeah. So, so. I'm extremely passionate about the Earthworks Go product line. So as you alluded to, a lot of contractors, local contractors and owner operators up to this point may have felt like, you know, the Earthworks platform or prior technologies uh, were mostly geared towards the big guys. Um, the cost can be relatively high. Um, we do like to say that the ROI is fast on those systems, but there's no getting around the fact that the systems are expensive. Now, on top of that, um, it also takes some, some know-how to install them using our, our SciTech dealership channel that'll come out and install those Earthworks systems for you. Um, so what we really wanted to look at was this 85% this of the construction market that's really the, 
10 people in less size companies, right? Where a lot of times you may not have the need for a full-fledged Earthworks system, which is why we came up with a product line called Earthworks Go. Now, the easiest way to think about this is this is an entry-level grade control product that offers a you know customer installable process. It doesn't take an expert to install the system. It's really easy to learn to set up and use. I mean, on top of that, um, you can use your own smart device as the primary machine interface. So really the way it works is right now we support compact grading attachments with the system of some of the most uh, popular models. Uh, but when you install the system, it's really as simple as, as putting what we call the go box on the attachment, plugging it in, connecting with your smart device, um, and you can get to work. And we offer a few different configurations with this system. So we offer laser-based systems or simply IMU-based systems. So what I mean by that is with the laser-based systems, you can install laser receivers on your grading attachment and use a grade laser you likely already have on site to fully automate the control of that blade, meaning our system automatically controls the cross slope of the blade as well as the depth. Um, now, if you use an IMU-based system, that's what we refer to as our cross slope only system. Uh, so all you need is that go box and no laser receivers are needed to get started. In that system, we control the cross slope of that blade while the operator automatic or while the operator manually controls the uh, the elevation of the blade. Uh, say to perhaps a string line they're following or something along those lines. Uh, so really what it comes down to is no matter the skill level or the budget of the contractor that's interested in getting into technology, um, we really have an offering for everyone at this point and we're only expanding it from here on out. Uh, it's just great to have all these options. Um, and let's say I have a reader who uh, has a fleet of compact track loaders looking to get into grade control. Um, he wants to get involved with Trimble, whether it's Earthworks 2.0 or, or Earthworks Go. What's his first step? Yeah, good question here. Um, and the best bet is to, to reach out to their local SciTech, who are our dealers. Um, and they've got all the tools and knowledge um, to get the contractors using Trimble, um, Earthworks or, or Earthworks Go or any of the Trimble systems that we provide. Um, and if you're not sure who your local SciTech is, no problem. Um, just go to construction.trimble.com um, and then enter in your location anywhere in the world. Um, and the website will then list out uh, the contact details and, and who you need to talk to. And it's as easy as that. Awesome. Thank you, Cameron. Uh, this is great info, gentlemen. Uh, our readers are really excited about this, and I'm really excited about this. Uh, I think it's going to take compact equipment into new applications, uh, into new efficiencies that we haven't seen before. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to compact equipment. Great. Thanks. Um, appreciate being here. Thanks, Keith. Uh, Thanks see you, readers. Me. You can uh, learn more by visiting www.compactequip.com uh, for more on Trimble and more on Earthworks 2.0. Thanks for uh, tuning in, and be safe out there.